Hello dear followers, Admiliodas Gaming is here today to speak to you about the Season 6 and all the new features about it. Everyone is speaking about the new unmanned ground vehicle but they don't really understand how it works. So in this video I'm going to explain everything and all the details about it. So when, when you open the game you will see this new deployable gear. What is the deployable gear and how we can make it and where we will need it. So the first thing you will need to know about that this deployable gear you will consider it as a warhead or something like that because you will need it later to build these new elite vehicles you understand so I'm going to dive with you to the details how we will be able to make those deployable gear how we will be able to uh, make these new UGV the unmanned ground vehicles how we will be able to unlock the research so first let's dive into the details and the statistics so the first thing it is deployed by infantries also it have a lot of features as a scout it have also a small radar it is so strong against infantries you see here against soft targets it's not so strong against armored but it have a 25 percent in cities and suburban areas in the max level of these ugv it is amazing it is perfect because it can scout it can reveal stealth it can reveal the sis unit uh, it have the nbc protection and also it have an army boost it will work as a veteran as an officer you understand with 12 uh, damage against soft targets and three against armored which makes it very strong and useful in this game but how we will unlock the research so Unlocking the research, we will need to make one of these three Mechanized Infantry, Naval Infantry, or Special Forces If you see here in the statistics of the basic Mechanized, you see this new feature which is the Deploy Armament It is new, we didn't see it before, only in the Season 6 uh, The Deployment Armament, these uh, UGV, you can deploy it by using the Mechanized Infantries no mechanized infantry or naval or uh, special forces, you can't make this UGV, you understand? So let's see how we will be able to make this deployable gear. To be able to make the deployable gear, we need level 1 secret weapon lab. So the first step, we will build our secret weapons laboratories in some cities, of course. You don't have to put it in all of your cities because you will, not, you will need some cities to build your infantries, of course. So here in this game, I'm playing with Ethiopia. I'm going to choose to do the research of the mechanized infantries. I will explain later why I chose the mechanized infantries, not the special forces or the marines, you understand? I will explain everything with the statistics. And also we will see these uh, unmanned ground vehicles in the battlefield, how it will do the combat, how we will uh, use it and how we will move it on the battleground, okay? So be patient, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel and you will see all of our news so three cities going to build these deployed uh, gear and three cities they are going for the army base level 2 to be able to make the mechanized infantries so we will need the army base level 2 and uh, level 1 recruiting officers to be able to make the mechanized infantries so here Kenya has declared declared war on me to be honest, I'm not going to let him ruin my strategy and ruin my video here. So I'm going to attack him with all my might. So luckily he is a noob here. He is attacking an empty province. <laughs> he is using his stout artillery to attack an empty province. So that's good for us. Let's just get rid of him uh, until our uh, unmanned ground vehicles are ready and our mechanized infantry are ready to be able to perform this new strategy and to be able to show you guys how we will use it on the battlefield and how we will um, control our new land strategy which is going to be amazing, which is going to be lethal and very strong and you will see with the numbers, with the statistics, how this new feature is going to help you a lot on the land combat and it's going to give you a lot of new um, abilities to counter your uh, enemies you understand it's going to be epic and you will see uh, and you will understand what i'm speaking about later okay
Okay, so after my uh, laboratories are um, ready, now I'm going to make the deployable gear, one in every city. So this deployable gear in one, in one uh, production, it will give me 30 units of deployable gear. And one UGV, one unmanned ground vehicle, will consume 30 of it, you understand? So it's the same thing, 30 or one, it's the same thing. So here, I will need to make the research of the elite UGV. Of course, after the level one mechanized infantry is done, you can now do the level two. Let's go now for the level two mechanized infantry because the level two UGV will be unlocked when we have the level three mechanized infantry or level three naval infantry or level three SIS. Now I start building my basic mechanized infantry. So you see here three cities will build the infantry, three cities will build the gear. The good thing it doesn't take a lot of time for the gear to be ready only 10 hours it's not too much it's very good uh, to fasten uh, the production of our infantry is i will need to level up my recruiting offices of course okay they are ready i have 60 now if you see the deployable gear uh, above i will build more i have the resources required resources and I'm going to build more and more of these deployable gear because later I'm going to put a lot of UGVs and you will see how beautiful it is. So now I have three mechanized infantry are ready. Now let's send them to the front because we will use them. We will use them on the war against Mozambique and we will see what these UGV can make on the battlefield. Okay. The level 2 is ready, let's go for the level 3 mechanized infantry. When the level 3 is ready, we can also unlock the level 2 elite unmanned ground vehicle. Now I have 180 deployable gear. So we have enough to make now three UGVs here. I have three mechanized infantry. Every one mechanized infantry can deploy one UGV every day. You understand? Not only one, like every day you can build another one. You understand? So here at this particular moment, I have three ready mechanized infantry. I can deploy three elite unmanned ground vehicles. You understand? At the same time. So here, why did I choose the mechanized infantry? You know that the mechanized infantry are very strong against armored divisions, you understand? And the UGV is strong against soft targets. So combining the mechanized infantry with the elite uh, unmanned ground vehicles will make the stack perfect because one is strong against armored, one is strong against uh, soft targets. So the two combined will give us the ultimate stack a very beautiful strong stack that will charge towards enemies and it will to be honest it will be deadly see here so i built my three level one ugvs and you can see here uh, the stats you can see here that i have 46 points of offense and 49 defense it boosted up my um, attacking abilities now I have the plus 25% uh, attacking abilities uh, which is given to the UGV for, of, of course now I'm going to declare the war on the Mozambique and start my campaign and we will see what these UGV can do to that infantry there in Mombasa okay another tip and another information these UGV are considered as soft targets when you when your opponent have this UGV and you are going to attack it, they will be considered as soft target, not hard targets, okay? So here you can split them. You don't have to put them in the same stack as the mechanized infantry. You can split them and send them. Uh, you can put them with your mechanized infantry in the same stack. It depends to you. It depends on the situation you are in. And of course, it depends on what gameplay you prefer. Because when your enemy have like 
multiple rocket launchers, you understand, or artillery, and you can't approach him with your mechanized infantries. You are afraid that you lose your mechanized infantries and you are afraid to lose them. So what I would do in this situation, I will deploy three or four UGV, because they will not cost me a lot after all, and I send them toward the uh, artillery. They will take the first hit, and later on I will charge with my mechanized infantries. You know that mechanized infantries are strong, and they have good attack abilities. So yes, I will take down those artilleries as fast as possible. This is so useful against artillery. It's going to turn on the odds of the gameplay now because with this new UGV, a lot of players will start playing with the mechanized infantries or the naval infantries because this ability will give them a lot of attacking abilities and a lot of attacking strength. And because you know now, like 95% of the Conflict of Nations players, they use the motorized infantry because it have the attack range. No one actually now play with mechanized infantry, but after this new feature, everyone will start thinking about playing with the mechanized infantry, including me because I like this strategy because it have a lot of good perks. You see here, my stack has encountered something. I lost two. UGVs. Let's see what I encountered. Whoa! I encountered a stack of three motorized infantries and three tank destroyers. You see, my stack of three mechanized infantries and three uh, UGV, they destroyed three motorized infantries and three tank destroyers. So this is what I am talking about. They wiped them from their way. And now I deployed more and more UGVs. Look here, I deployed three more because now the resupply time has finished and I can make more three unmanned ground vehicles. So you see here, my stack have seven. Like, look how fast is the process. How fast you can deploy more units because usually you will wait until you build the, uh, the, the, the buildings. You will wait until these units, uh, they are prepared in your cities and later send them to the front. But now, no. You can go with like 10 mechanized infantries in the center of the battle. You find yourself battling with 10 mechanized infantries and 10 unmanned ground vehicles. These 10 unmanned ground vehicles will have an offensive with 90 points against soft target it's not nothing it's like it's huge it's so important in the game to be honest okay now i'm going to advance through the mozambique lands i'm going to destroy him to ashes with this beautiful stack now I have an offensive of 34 points now because I am in the jungle so I have a penalty of attack to the mechanized infantry so look here. I have the level 2 UGV and my stack looks like I have an officer in it. You see that star above my infantry? It looks like I have an officer but no I don't have an officer in that, in that stack. But here the unmanned ground vehicles they look like an officer because they have an attack boost, a defense boost. So here in the level 2 we have 3% attack bonus. I can reveal stealth, I have a scout, I can storm positions, I don't mind uh, findi finding bunkers here. They ignore bunkers and attack straight to the main buildings. So look at this stack, 97 points of attack. 103 points of defense, 6 infantries and 4 unmanned ground vehicles. This is outrageous, this is amazing. Thank you for the developers of this game for this new feature which is amazing, I love it. Look here, you can build as much as you can, you don't have um, a building limit because all the elite units before they have a building limit, you can't build more than 4 units or 5 units, here you can build as much as you can. This is beautiful. So guys, I hope this video have really uh, was informative for you and you understand now what I am speaking about, these beautiful unmanned ground vehicles. I have to go now, see you later in the next video, bye bye.